Before I begin, I want to put out a trigger warning uh, for very disturbing details and for anyone who is triggered by information about sexual abuse, I would recommend you not watch this video any further. So I've been sitting in the morning and putting out information uh, and news on our app and the information coming out of Manipur and that viral video obviously is extremely distressing. Um, Scroll and the Indian Express uh, have gotten in touch with one of the two women in that video um, and some of the details there are very worrying. The fact that in the Indian Express story it said that these women were taken from a police van while the police was escorting them to safety by the mob and then stripped and then paraded and then uh, gang raped. The scroll story says one of those women was gang raped. Indian Express goes on to say that uh, one woman's brother was murdered when he tried to um, help her. But the thing that is really upsetting right now is the silence. The fact that the Manipur police has now put out a statement after the video went viral saying that we filed a zero FIR. A zero FIR basically means it's filed against unknown people and you don't know who the accused people are. You can see their faces in the video. Uh, the Minister of uh, Women in Child Affairs, Smriti Irani, has put out a statement on Twitter saying that she has spoken with the Chief Minister of Manipur, who continues to retain his job, and who has said that everything is being done to bring the perpetrators to justice. Now, one of the questions is the fact that this video has gone viral, which could, on one hand, spark up outrage in Manipur again and cause um, you know cause people to get angry and resort to violence again but on the other hand let's note the fact that neither the police nor the state government nor the central government uh, have taken any action until the video went viral and the reason why the video has taken so long to reach the rest of the country is because the internet has been shut down in Manipur for more than two months um, and there has been largely silence in mainstream media uh, very few questions that have been asked of the government of the day and this sort of abuse and human rights abuse is not acceptable um, in a democratic peaceful country this is simply something that should not be okay